bent the spoke on the shade umbrella. The direct sunlight faded its formerly proud blue. What of myself keeps me proud in the tumult other than my own lack of mutilation? So pinned in the environment and in love with it that I desire the city. Take me to misfortune. The storm follows me. Let it come to the house of people and houses. A body is the worst way to belong to the world. Thanks. Thanks so much, Jennifer. Great. Our next reader is Jessica Bagwell. Come on down. Thank you. Um, so I have three short poems to read for you guys tonight. It's not overwhelming at all to have such a crowded room. Um, so the first two I have are kind of reflective of the obsessive poetic thoughts I have when I'm drinking wine. I don't know if that happens to everyone. Maybe it's just me. Um, OK, so this first one's called Consumption. The way the sun strikes my wine glass turns the sultry color into liquid rubies. I have to close my eyes when I lift the glass to my lips. The richness and taste shouldn't be confused by sight. The sun also unveils the imprint of my lips on the rim. Clear yet subtle markings from day-old lipstick, my fingerprints show a possession, overlapping, never picking up the glass from the same spot twice. The acid lingers on my tongue, and I wonder if I am, if I am consuming the wine or if the wine is consuming me. Um, the second one is called Runs Red. Pour the wine of yesteryear into the presence of this place. Take a sip and for once take the time to taste. Frothy and warm, coating every part of you, even the parts that I could never touch. If you feel the need, smash the bottle against my head. Alleviate the pressure and let us all swim in the sickly sweet smell as everything around us runs red. Let the shards fall around me and watch as some cling to my hair. Take note of how the glass reflects the light, the light that is now coming from me. You did that. And as the red runs against my painfully white skin, I wonder if this is what it means to be dead. And if this is death, am I destined to pour your wine every day and watch as the red runs down your throat and gives you life over and over again? Um, and then this last poem isn't quite so obsessive about wine, but I still manage to give it a mention. Uh, it's called Baby Doll. Baby Doll with the Sugar Lips. Would you like a glass of wine? Something to tide you over before the ocean gets the chance to rise. Baby doll with the open eyes, do you mind if I lose track of time? I look into you and can't quite decide if you are full of someone else's love or simply empty of all of mine. Baby doll with the sweet, sweet words, please don't make them rhyme. I've had quite enough and the way that you speak runs circles in my mind. Baby doll, do you mind if I call you when the night rises and falls inside? I know that you can't love me, but I'm a writer by trade, so my imagination expands far and wide. Baby doll, we both know this isn't real, but nothing that matters ever is. Just ask the stories that I write and the thoughts that I think, and maybe the unreal can be real enough if we just give it some time. Thank you.